Welcome back! In today's video I'm going to attempt to make some more neon tubes completely at home. Also I changed the background a little bit. Should look better but I don't know. So in the last video I tried building some neon tubes without any electrodes and tried driving them by capacitive coupling. However as I already thought this only works with straight pieces of tubing so uh, I concluded that I need to put some electrodes in there. The simplest way to do that would be to just seal a piece of tungsten wire into the glass. However, this is not the best solution because the plasma actually attacks the electrode over time and deposits the metal onto the glass. In commercial neon tubes, the electrodes are actually shaped into a hollow cylinder. This seems pretty similar to the hollow cathode lamp and that pretty much keeps the metal that's flying off inside of the cylinder. Last video I said they have to be heated to drive off contamination which would otherwise cause the neon tube to fail. However, what I didn't mention is that they actually have a coating on the inside that makes them perform better. This is called emission coating and this is also activated by heating as well. So this is the first thing I came up with. Here is a glass stem and I sealed in some tungsten wires. These are sealed in in a special way and you can see it in my other vacuum tube videos. But basically I take a piece of tungsten wire, remove the oxide coating if it has any, clean it with some alcohol and then heat it up in a flame very lightly to make a new oxide coating that's should be blue and then I place a piece of glass around it and then heat it up in the torch very hot and this should give you a seal with tungsten and glass that should be golden yellow or brown and if it has this color it should be vacuum tight. So uh, I did this and then up here I basically have a coiled wire. This is actually titanium. Titanium is very resistive to sputtering which is this process where the ions in the plasma bombard the electrode and knock off material and I just coiled it up. Uh, maybe if this works I might actually buy some titanium tubing but for now I'm just going to place this ceramic tubing around this instead and this should keep any material inside. Also, I'm not going to bother with any emission coating there. Um, let's see, this should work as well. Also down here, I have a filament. This is also titanium. And I'm going to use this as a getter. And this hopefully absorbs any impurities. And maybe the neon tube will actually be much more red and uh, much deeper in color. So... Uh, I'm going to try that with this and yeah that's basically it. So what I basically have here is actually a cold cathode or for the neon tube cold electrode but what I could also do is a hot cathode and that's basically uh, the same thing as a fluorescent lamp. You have a filament and you have to heat it up to get the lamp started. So this could be pretty interesting as well. And I could actually put some emission coating on there because I can heat it up very well and very uh, controlled. So this might be very interesting as well, but uh, let's try this right here first and then see if it can basically make a hot cathode fluorescent lamp neon thing, I guess. <laughs> All right, I put everything together. Here's the tube and it goes to these valves and to the filling thing. I explained all of this in the last video and then to the vacuum pump. And I'm going to pump this down, heat this up a little bit with a torch as usual and um, then fill it with neon. What I'm also going to try though is I'm going to close the vacuum valve and run the titanium filament that's in there. And uh, I want to see if this really react or should react with all of the oxygen in here and react to titanium oxide and 
nitride or whatever what what's in the air and um, then should create somewhat of a high vacuum in there and i want to try this out i don't have any way to measure this but um, let's see if uh, i can see anything with the gas discharge disappearing or whatever but uh, after that i'm going to fill it with neon with my filling rig that i still have not improved on even though i got a lot of suggestions in the comments but uh for now, I'm just going to use this thing. All right, let's turn on the pump, pump this down, and then, uh, yeah, go through all of this and see what's happening and if this works. All right, here is the tube. It still has not the right color. So the color is still a bit off. So uh, I have the suspicion that either the tube is leaking or uh, that the color actually depends on temperature because I noticed this on the neon sign from last video that if I hold it on the Tesla coil, it needs to warm up a bit and then it shifts into the red uh, spectrum. But let's see, I'm going to try to run the filament, see if there's any oxygen or stuff uh, that can be reacted with the titanium getter to form titanium oxide. And then uh, maybe there's like just neon in there and we can see the true red, deep red color. So let's see, let's try that. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> much better, much better. All right, I was messing around with this thing for a while. And yeah, you can see there's this black coating. And this is the thing I talked about that we want to avoid. To be honest, I did not put a lot of effort into designing an electrode. I mostly just wanted to uh, try out how the uh, titanium getter affects the color of the tube and it definitely seems to help. The tube is also not leaking. But yeah, I really should uh, try to make something that's actually as close to a neon electrode as possible and not try to like do some other stuff because obviously commercial neon electrodes are designed in a way that uh, they actually work so let's try to build something that's as close to a commercial neon electrode as possible all right and here's the new design uh, i don't want to talk a whole lot because i have a little bit of a sore throat but i basically made something similar to neon electrodes by taking some nickel sheet, uh, making a tube out of it, and I placed it into a piece of glass that has a lip on it that it just barely fits into the tubing. And this will prevent the plasma from getting back here and sputtering the electrodes. And it will just attack the tube, but because the tube is inside of this glass, uh, all the metal will stay inside. And yeah, Let's see if that works. Uh, one thing, commercial neon electrodes also have an emission coating on there, but I did not do that because I don't want to mess with that. Uh, let's just try out this configuration and see if this works at all. Well, 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 the day after I said my throat hurts, uh, I got sick. So this is, uh, I just left it there for over a week now. The upside is that I left the valves closed and it still seems to be under vacuum. So it seems to be tight. So I'm just going to fill this with neon. 
This time I'm just going to heat it up relatively quickly with the torch and just fill this relatively quickly and not put too much effort into it, mostly because I'm lazy right now. But uh, yeah, let's just do that, see how well this works. Alright, I'm running the titanium filament to get rid of any impurities. It had a very, very purple color again. I think I had this before and I'm just going to let this run for a while and hopefully then the tube will be a nice red neon color. Else, this color is really interesting as well. I think it doesn't really come across on camera, but uh, let's see. Maybe this will turn really deep red. So let's see. All right, and here is the finished tube. And let's just turn it on. <laughs> Look at that. This looks very good. I'm not sure if the color correction on the camera is adjusted very well, but it does look very pink. So um, it's still not very good. I was actually pleasantly surprised because when I sealed it, it was very purple and I couldn't get it to be red at all. And um, somehow it needed some time to absorb the impurities. And now it's actually somewhat red, more pink, but I'm still uh, very pleased with that. I think last video people suggested actually getting a turbo molecular pump and a proper pressure gauge and this should improve the color. But this stuff is kind of expensive and I have to see when I get around to buy at least a pressure gauge. So I think I'm going to end this video here because I'm also a bit tired from this project. I'm also working on some other projects including new vacuum tube trials. I know you guys are very excited about that. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe. And yeah, until next time, bye.